Oh man, it's a big one too. About quarter size. I'm guessing it's either a quarter or a token. Ah, I recognize it. Well, it's a beautiful morning out here today. Uh, high 50s, perfect. The mosquitoes aren't bugging me as bad. Nice and cool. But I just had my first target. It's pretty cool, too. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a warbly high tone. But look at that. Is that a cool drawer pull or what? I like that. That's kind of a cool first find. All right, let's see what else we can find today. All right, let's move on. Well, a hunt out here wouldn't be complete without some plated spoons. There's first one of the day. All right, let's keep going. Well, had a high tone. Pulled my first ball jar lid. And then a couple feet away, had the same tone again. Look at this time. It's got a hinge on it right here. So, what that is, I'm not positive. Maybe uh, top to a little compact or something. You can still see some gilting on it. Got a little fancy on the front. But that's kind of cool. My guess would be part of a compact. All right, let's keep going. Actually, I looked at that a little closer and... It looks like it had a stone in the center of it. You can still see the bezels on there. All right, let's move on. Well, this was a pretty much a junk signal. I dug it anyway. But look what came out. I thought it was a piece of scrap, and it is, but... William Schalf, S-C-H-A-L-F, Harbor Springs. And it looks like it said something but on this end, but it was broken. Huh, gives me a name to research anyway, and even a location. Have to see who William Schalf was. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's spoon number two. Saw a little shiny in the hole there for a second, and then that popped out. It's plated. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. Uh, another hem weight. Yesterday I cleaned off something half this size. I wasn't sure what it was until I got it cleaned up, and it was a hem weight. But it was a small one, about the size of a penny which I haven't seen before. I found quite a few of these bigger ones. Okay, let's keep going. Well, there was a surface find. Too bad it's broken. I recognize the green pattern, though. I believe that came out of the Pantland Hotel in Grand Rapids. They found a lot of this greenware out here. A lot of it's labeled, though. Ah, that's too bad that's broken. Or I'd have added that one to my collection. All right, let's keep going. Well, I've been digging quite a few ball jar lids. I haven't been showing them for obvious reasons. I dig a lot of them. I thought this was just another jar lid, and that came out of the hole. That's why you gotta dig them all, man. Okay, most of this stuff I'm finding out here comes from high-end hotels and restaurants in Grand Rapids. And I found a number of these tags, and I'm assuming they are for uh, key rings for the hotels with the room number on them. 
That's just my guess, but that's a pretty good guess considering where all this stuff's coming from. Nice find. I like that. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm getting a real screaming 53-54 here. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's an aluminum jar lid. It's either that or it's silver because that is a pretty high tone. Let's dig it up see what we got. Well, I was close. It's aluminum, but it's a little ashtray from out of the, one of the hotels or restaurants. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target, and man, what a fancy drawer pull that is. It's hinged. A piece broke off in my hand. It's killing me. It was complete. That is so cool. It's like a shell pattern. Still hinges. Oh, but it's killing me that that piece came off. That's a cool find. I like that. Back out in the woods. Just walked in. Nice morning. Can't believe it. First good signal. Haven't even been out here five minutes. And I got a, something round already. Let's take a look at it. Oh, man. It's a big one, too. About quarter size. I'm guessing it's either a quarter or a token. Ah, I recognize it. Another bank token. I just found one of these the other day. Nice. What a first find. I'm liking that. Let me clean it off a little bit. Well, this is a repeat of the other day when I found a barber dime and then a token right next to it. Same one. 50 cents with this token will give you a dollar towards this new savings account. Grand Rapids Savings Bank. Of course, a dollar in a savings account back pre-1920 was a lot of money, so that is cool. Nice first find. Boy, I'm getting a bunch of these things. That is cool. All right, now let's see if I can add a Barber Dime to it and match the other day. All right, let's keep going. Great first find. Well, there's kind of a cool surface find. Top to an old bottle. It is embossed. P-E-I-A-N can't see that M, I don't know, Olympian or something, I don't know, S-A-G-E, then an M down here, I don't know what that would be, but that little big bubble in it, that's an old timer there, all right, let's keep looking, yeah, I had a pretty good tight signal right here, yeah, now I lost it, where is it? Oh, it's out of the hole. 35, 36, even up to a 37. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, 
I see something round. Oh yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's an Indian. Outstanding. I can't believe it. The other day a barber dime and a bank token. Now a bank token and not more than a couple minutes later I pulled an end in. All right, let me clean this off, see if I can get a date. Well, that's great. I didn't break into the 1800s, but it's a 1900. Ah, oh, that is outstanding. Man, I haven't even been out here a half hour. I am loving this. All right, um, I've only moved about 15 feet from where I found that token. I guess I'm going to hunt this area a little closer here. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more. Well, they can't all be coins. Looks like the top of a little teapot. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm getting a really good high tone right here. Seems kind of large though, but that's ringing up up there in the silver range. So we're going to have to dig it, see what we got. Well, ends up being a big chunk of brass. I have uh, no idea what this is, but it rang up nice. All right, let's keep looking. Well, this one wasn't a very good signal, but I've been digging up a lot of bad signals lately just because of the relics but boy did i recognize that one when it popped out of the hole look at that that is a nice thimble boy it's in perfect shape let me clean it off a little bit wow that is an excellent find I've looked real close to see if there's any kind of hallmarks or markings on it. It almost looks like there's something inside, but I'm going to have to wait till I get it home, clean it up better. Not a, not a silver, but man, is that in nice shape. I've probably got oh, between 20 and 25 non-silver thimbles now. Most of them are aluminum. This one's not. This one's probably copper. Or some sort of an alloy. But I thought for a minute I could add it to my silver thimble collection. I've got five of those. But for a non-silver, boy, is this a nice one. All right. Let's keep looking. Well, got to find some of these every hunt. Old spoon. I think I broke it, but that's a pretty rusty one there. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my next target. It's like an old garter clip. And it actually says Lindsay on the top. L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. Kind of a cool one. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can find. Well, I just had a really high tone here. Uh, right around penny signal. I think it's out of the hole. Oh, 
Yeah. Found something round. What have we got? Oh, I see Lincoln on it. All right, this is going to be a pre-1920 Weedy. Let me uh, clean it up, see what kind of date we can get off it. I'll be right back. Well, it brushed off a little bit. It is a 1911. All right. Even though it's a Lincoln, it's a Weedy, and it's an old one. I, I still like them. I'd rather have an Indian, but I'll take these. All right, let's keep going here. My next signal was a solid 26. Sounded just like a V-nickel, but a little bit of a letdown. Some kind of a copper ring or something. Not sure what that is. Maybe off a keychain or something. All right, let's keep going. Well, not the greatest signal, but silver plated spoon. Still got some of the plating in the bowl. I don't know if I broke that or if that's an old break, but I might have broken it. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, and another plated spoon. Didn't find the other half of it. All right, let's keep moving on. About ready to start working back toward my truck again. Well, I've been working on this hole for quite a while. I had a couple pieces of scrap come out. Piece of a plate. I had a jack come out of the hole. I don't know, kid's game, but it's an old one, made out of iron. I have found a Keltrop out here, which is similar, but big. Uh, this is not a Keltrop, this is a jack. But, I kept getting signals. A high tone in here and I just could not find it until just now big round and guess what it's another one of those bank tokens this one looks a little larger than the last one but let me brush it off a little bit see if it's the same one I I know it's similar because I've got a few different types but they're all coming from I think two banks that were in Grand Rapids let me clean this up a little bit that's weird another bank token this one's a little different good for 50 cents anytime in opening an account Grand Rapids Savings Bank established 1870 uh, corner of my own, Monroe and Ionia in Grand Rapids. Let me look at the other side a minute. Well, the other side's a little rougher. Can't really, I can make out a little of it, but not enough to read it off to you. But that's another cool find. And I'm heading toward my truck. I don't know, it seems like every time I say I'm heading toward my truck, I find something cool that slows me down. Two tokens. There you can see a little difference in them. One's larger than the other, the one I just found. I believe they're from the same bank though. They probably just a different run of tokens. All right, let's keep going. If I don't find anything more, I'll see you on the next hunt. Well, it sounded just like a nickel, but what it is is a little top of a toothpaste tube. You can see CG Company, that's for Colgate Company. Found a few of these out here. They ring up nice, but not for me. All right, let's keep going. I swear some days I just can't get out of the woods. 
But I can't walk past that signal. 47. Uh, I gotta dig that one. Alright, we'll see what we got. Yeah, uh, there's why it rang up so good. Aluminum salt shaker top. Alright, let's see if I can get out of these woods. Yeah, I'll just do a little recap. This is a lot of the junk I dug. Eh, a couple spoons. Old spoon there. Salt shaker top. And here's the better stuff. Got a kid's jack clipped to a garter strip. Really nice looking thimble. Two bank tokens. A 1911 Weedy and a 1900 Indian head. That right there makes it a successful hunt. I found most of that stuff uh, right away. Alright, see you on the next hunt.